Okay, next topic. Laws. That's my favorite topic to talk about. That's my favorite one. One of the favorite ones to talk about. Um, now, the first one we have is alcohol. What is it, the, the legal age in general? 16. And for us, it's 18, eh? Okay, no, no. No, okay. When you're 16 mm. in Germany, mm. you're allowed to buy and drink beer, champagne, and wine. Yeah. You're, you're, you're allowed to drink drink and buy beer, champagne, and wine. You, I mean, you have to show your mm. ID. Mm. Mm. Now, I myself, I don't have an ID card. My passport. <laughs> you your passport? I have to carry my passport. Every time I have to buy, like, drinks, I have mm. to bring my passport with me and be, like, FBI agent, like, <laughs> like flipping it and showing the cashier like this is me okay mm. i am of age accept me uh -uh. like <laughs> like yeah so 16 you're allowed to buy and drink wine i don't know well well okay i'm not sure for wine and champagne i think champagne but wine i'm not sure but you're allowed to drink wine like everything that's not burnt like all alcohols that's not like burnt you're allowed to drink it basically burnt meaning like you know you have to like like i think you have to burn the alcohol mm -hmm, to yeah. like yeah so everything like not burnt you're allowed to drink at the age of 16 and when you're 18 you're allowed to drink everything else unlike smoke cigarettes although people at my age are already smoking and whatnot, so yeah <coughs> but at 18 you're allowed to um buy everything else and go go everything not like in america where you're 21 and you have to like for, uh, i think for some states they have that oh I for didn't. some states okay uh, but yeah um in Saint Lucia, people we drinking even, rum at thirteen. We don't even follow the laws, <laughs> which is kind of sad in a sense. Because you see, ten-year-olds drinking hard liquor, something like black and white or high commission. Mm -hmm. like I never taste like that. Young. I never drink. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, um. You yeah. find children not. You find people not even taking heed to all those laws mm -hmm. and especially it's kind of sad that adults actually um allowing condoning it, it. Yeah, allowing it because it. if a 10 year old you still your brain not even finished with processing and all kind of our brains don't even finish processing, processing yes. you understand <laughs> our brains stop growing well not i would say growing our brains our developing that's the word what's the part of your brain I the, um, something complex you know what I'm talking about. I was about to say the center, <laughs> but the placenta. What? The placenta. Are we pregnant now? Eh? <laughs> the placenta. I am sorry. I'm sorry. The I'm sorry. complex. The part of our brain. That's the first word that, that makes um mind. that processes decisions and stuff. That thing stops oh. developing. Oh, yeah. When you're 25. Oh, for real. 25. Oh. That's when you're considered really an adult at 25. Look at me, somebody that good in science don't even know where the percent is. The percent. Well, I have to go back to school. My school starts next week, Wednesday. Mm. So joke of the day. I still I still in my summer vacation mode. So like, yeah, the but yeah, um all of us pregnant. <laughs> and like people I don't know why I don't know why it's like that. It's kind of sad. You have to pay in Germany, that's that's another topic there, you have to pay taxes. Like, if they catch you with stuff like that, you have to pay fines. Well, not taxes, fines. I meant, I meant fines. You have to pay, like, fines. Like, that's another topic, like, mm. bus, like, mm. the bus system, like, the, the traffic system in Germany. Mm. If you on a train without a ticket, you have to pay 60 euro fine on the spot. And if you don't have the money, you have to stop off the next stop and get money to pay for, for that. Because they, if they catch you, you have to pay 60 euro, I think, for bus, train... Mm. Well, at the airport, you cannot do anything about that. Right, so, right. So, but like, on, I know for the train, I'm not sure if it's the, if it's the same thing on the bus too. But like for the train, you have to you have to pay a fine. And like for buses, the bus system is more developed in Germany. So, um, 
um, so you have a card, mm -hmm. you have different tickets. You either have a ticket you buy every single day, and then you have like a, a day ticket, which is called target ticket. You know to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> As I was saying, um, oh yeah, you have, um, so you have like the day ticket where you pay for, for going to town and coming back mm. at home, and then you have, um, another thing is, you always have like a specific bus you have to take, so you cannot like, like the buses, they have numbers on top of them, and the place you're going to, or like the final destination of the bus. Mm. And so you kind of like buy a ticket on that bus and then take another bus to go someplace else because the ticket have the um, place you New came from yeah. and you're going to. So um, so you kind of like just hop on another bus. And then you have like the monthly tickets either for school or business ticket. So that's the tickets I use. I use a monthly ticket. And the nice thing about the ticket is that the color changes every month but not the price. That, that's like that's, that's the only thing. Eh? <laughs> so like, like so I get a monthly ticket for each month, obviously, and then basically when I get on the bus, I show the bus driver my ticket unless I hop in the back mm -hmm. because the back door does be open too, and I just go in there without showing my ticket. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes they have like other people on the bus like that control if you yeah. have a ticket or not. But like for the two years I've been there, that has only happened to me once, so they don't do it that often but they do it more often on the train and then you have like and then there's another ticket which is very useful is a junior ticket mm -hmm. you that's for people under the age of 25 or like 26 and under i think mm -hmm. or 25 and under one of them no wait 21 and under 21 and under 21 and under a junior ticket like it's a monthly ticket but you can only take the bus up and like at two in the afternoon mm -hmm to like in the night basically so before two o'clock you cannot like take the bus with that ticket you have to buy another ticket but if you like going to school and your school ends like late all the time like let's say like five or something because i just got my timetable and have school up until five mostly every day so pray for me um so you can use the the yeah the ticket up to two o'clock mm -hmm. and the good thing about it you can take any bus you want so you, it doesn't have like the destination you go to or whatever. So like if you're going oh. in the other direction uh, from uh, where you live, you can take the bus and just go there or just by showing that ticket. But it has to be after two in the afternoon. So that's basically it. Yeah, that's how it is there. Now for us, bus drivers want to for us in harbor. Bus drivers ready to chop passengers. Oh my god. Bus drivers ready to. I I, I don't know what's their problem. They need to. They really need to teach them customer service. Now they didn't have a. a, a under management thing. Yeah, they <laughs> have it. But how many of them are going to listen to them and actually put things into action? Well, then bus drivers. Yeah, so for us, we just have... Oh, and what... Like, would you consider a coaster to be your bus? Or a coaster? Like, yeah, our coaster to be your bus. Our bus long, huh? yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, no, the coaster, now the thing is, the coaster, the coaster is a high bus. Mm -hmm. We have high buses, but our, our bus in Germany, mm -hmm. like, it's not as high as the coaster, but it's, like, long. There are, there are short ones, there are short ones. Like, you see the minibus, the Toyota bus, uh -huh. we don't have that. If you have a bus like that, only 15 people are allowed to sit in that type mm -hmm. of bus. And in Germany, and in Central Russia, they're just packing people with, like, 20 people or so. And then, like... And then, um, but our buses, like if you, it's it's not like the buses in England either. We don't have these types of buses. We have like. I'll have to insert a picture somewhere again. Too. Yeah, I'll send a picture for. I'll send yeah. a picture for you. I'll put so, the picture. Our buses. <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically that's basically how it is. Like it, it long. Like I was saying, um, bus drivers, we just go off and give him money, just handing the money to the bus driver, and they have, there's, all of them supposed to have their price, their price, um, list on the bus, 
But you see, I thought they want to charge you a coach. How much do you charge you to come here? Two, two dollars. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I have to check because certain people, when they know people not from the area, especially, they like to um, charge, more. charge them more. Which doesn't make any sense. You're yeah. supposed to have your price list and you're supposed to follow the price list. Yeah. Like I asked, asked him, me. Uh-huh. I was about to give him $3 uh-huh. like because he dropped me in the mm. extra. And then I was like, $2, right? And he was like, yeah. And I just put the $1 back. Like, you're right. $2 <laughs> in, in his palm. Yeah. Um, that's basically, I don't know. I don't know what to say about the traffic again. And they just like to, they just like to park people in buses. Like, okay. You see... My route from Labri, from the gas station, to go in all areas of Buns like La Ho and Valier and um, Mont Paul, Olibo, where I live. I don't even know where that is. Yes, people don't even know where that is. But where I live, you see these bus drivers, you see those four bus drivers, all of y'all have a chuck. All of y'all have a chuck. Because listen, that bus system, I have to say it's one of the worst bus systems in Sinusha. Why? You can stay on a bus two hours before you are able to go anywhere. Right. Just because the bus driver don't want to move, mm-hmm. you want the whole bus to fall before he go. In, G- in Germany, the buses have their times, right? Okay. The buses, there's a time schedule for each bus in Germany, wherever you come from. If you go into town, if you live in where I live in, wherever, mm-hmm. there's a time schedule for each bus. You have a bus plan, like you actually have a book. The book is about like that thick. And you have all the times for all the buses in your region. And if the bus, when it like, let's say the bus coming at like, for example, the my school bus comes at 6.55 mm-hmm. in the morning. At the first bus stop, it stops. And then it goes to the other bus stops and stops. And where I live, it comes at like 7.03. Mm-hmm. 7 o'clock, the bus there. 7.01, if they have no kids again, it's going. Like, yeah, it, like, it just, they just, they're not waiting for you. They're yeah. not, like, as soon as it hit that time for them to, like, leave that area, that bus stop, they're going. They're not waiting for you. Is it that you take the next bus or you walk to school or you ask some, somebody to drop you? The bus is not waiting for you. Like, if they see you running, then they will, like, you know, wait, like, stop and wait for you and then tell you, Next time, be on time. Like, they tell you, be on time. Mm-hmm. And now, you know, the ter- stereotype for German people is always to be on time. So, like, if you're not on time in Germany, you can go back at your home. Like, as soon as you know you're already going to be late, stay at your home. Because if you come late, if you come late, then that's the end for you. You come two minutes late, five minutes late, the thing starts already, and you're walking inside, go back outside. Like, no, no, solution is a complete... An utter opposite of that. Yeah. You all know that. The party starting at 6 o'clock. They come in at 7.30. They come in 7.30. <laughs> you have to, a meeting starting at 5 o'clock is starting at 6 o'clock. Now, I realize, like, as I live in Germany now, it upsets me now to want to go coming late. Yeah, so like, like even for me, I like to go places. Uh, and mm-hmm. especially, you see that bus, I'll go back to that bus system again. Mm-hmm. If I have to reach... If you fought for let's say ten o'clock, mm-hmm. I have to leave my home seven o'clock. You know, yeah, just for him to try and get a bus because all of the dum dums will decide to go down the road at the same time. So let's say if um one pass at seven o'clock, the other one will pass at seven fifteen, the other one will pass at seven forty, and the next one eight o'clock, and all of them staying down the road. They're going for there. They staying down the road to bring people up the road. That's the, same, that's the same for me. I had to meet, I had to meet Yolan, um, at, at the library beach to do, to do my nails, right? Uh-huh. I take the bus, because where I live, they don't have a lot of buses that come in there, nobody don't know where I live, so it's only like two buses we have, and then I take the bus, the bus was supposed to come for 10 o'clock, the man come like 10.15, I reach, the man had to stop at people's home, and afterwards he driving house, oh, the man dear. driving like, <laughs> like, it take me literally from my home to the gap, to the Chozelle gap, mm. where it would normally take my father or another driver like 5 to 10 minutes, take a whole 15 minutes, 20 minutes to reach down at that gap. And then to and then he stopped at the gas station in PI. Mm. And then when I was saying stopping to stop by library, he didn't even hear me. He, dri- he almost drives straight. Bullshit. And I, I was so upset. As soon as I get off the bus, I pay him and I run down to the beach. To as a pay him, as a number. Like... Our, like I, I was so upset that day. <laughs> like, yeah. I could, I couldn't take it. Like we so laid back, 
Mm-hmm. Our, our atmosphere is just laid back, yeah. sit down, according to the white people, some Caucasian, some non black people. Mm-hmm. The non-black. base, yeah, the <laughs> base, um, we just sit down by the beach for coconuts in our mouth and we yeah. just lie down on a hammock. Yeah. That's like, that's. That, that's how they picture it. Yeah, yeah like when I went honestly. when I went to Germany, that's how they picture it. Like, like you know, Bilwa. They mm. asked Bilwa if we were in coconut bra, what and um palm and coconut skirts. skirts. Yeah, Ooh, Hawaii, <laughs> Hawaii. We are like they asked us if we were in coconut bra and palm skirts, and and we walking around like that every day. Like that's what they ask her. And then when I told my friend when I t- when I first came to my class, I told them that they were like, so that's not true. I was like, no, we wear normal clothes. We what? have, we have internet. They thinking we don't have internet. We don't have to do that. We living in huts. Yeah, we living in huts. We we. So all the Germans who who go to watch this, this is gonna shock some of you. But yes, we have internet. Otherwise, I would not have been able to upload this video. Exactly that I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, like they always like surprise. Like every time, and like another thing, every time I say, oh, I'm from the Caribbean. If I say Saint Lucia, not a lot of them might know where Saint Lucia is. But if when I say I'm from the Caribbean, they tell me, "What you doing in Germany? Why aren't you at home? Like you leave paradise and you come yeah. here for what?" And I'm like, "To you, it's paradise. To me, it is home. It's normal. Like I seen everything yeah, normal and whatnot. Like everything is so normal. And then like, I'm like going to the beach is like such a normal thing. But in Germany, we don't have beach. Huh? The f- the farthest beach is a six hour drive. Huh? What? From where I live, it's a six hour drive to go to the beach, and it's and like. You see, like um, the north in mm-hmm. the north, that's where the beach is. Unless, 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 like you drive down, cause Europe like connected to each other. So like, from where I live, you can easily drive to France and Italy, mm-hmm. and that's like the nearest beaches you will get, but not in Germany itself. The nearest beach in Germany is like in the northern parts, I guess. Mm. So yeah. Now you see, <coughs> we just have lakes, and you just go to lakes in the summer, and like you swim in lakes and pools. Mm-hmm. But like a beach itself, like salt water, not where I live, you're not getting that. I have to make that point as well. Um, we're in Saint Michel, we are blessed. Mm-hmm. We are very blessed. Yeah. Trust me. Except for hurricanes. Well, yeah, yeah, apart from like natural disasters like earthquakes and mm-hmm. hurricanes and stuff like that, we are very blessed. Mm-hmm. We are surrounded by water. Mm-hmm. Water everywhere. Mm-hmm. So if I'm from Labry, right, I can decide to walk from my home. It will probably take me a good hour or so, but I can walk from my home and just go by the beach and chill. Yeah, I cannot do that. I can go outside and pick a pick a guava. Mm-hmm. Pick a guava or like go in the banana tree, take my my feet, put it right mm-hmm. in my bananas. You you don't really find those things like oranges mm-hmm. growing there mm-hmm. or the, oh that's a that's a even, that's, that's a hot topic. Yeah, 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 but like <laughs> but like you know we we are so blessed. We yeah. have warm weather. Mm-hmm. Whether people dream of dream of like especially my friends in New York I know we don't know about Germany, but my friends in New York they they cry they want to come back yeah. because it's so cold mm-hmm. or they're surrounded by buildings. Yeah. You see you barely Waste. seen a speck of yeah, you barely seen a speck of grass. Yeah. And it's like all of us we want to leave but then mm-hmm. later on realise like wow. Yeah, that's true. But like in Germany, in Germany, green too. Eh? Yeah, like Germany, Germany is green. Germany, like everywhere you go, you see in forests. Yes. Except like if you live like in the middle of the city. Mm. But even in the middle of the city, you have parks. And all the parks full of greenery and everything like that. That's but like good. the thing is, we don't have, like, we don't have guava. We don't have mango green. Mm, we don't right. have banana green. Right. We don't have coconuts green. We don't have like pine cones we have. Eh? <laughs> We don't pineapples. We don't pineapples growing. Like the okay, the fruits that grow in Germany are like strawberries, apples, peaches, and like these like foreign fruits and Caucasian stuff like that. Fruits. Yeah, white people, <laughs> white people food. Oh yeah, white people. So food. that's that's like what we are like different types of berries and stuff mm. like that. That's what we have growing in Germany. But like stuff like natural like fruits and stuff, you get it. Like I would buy a mango at the supermarket and it don't have the same taste in Saint Lucia. Like the mango in Saint Lucia is sweet, like you having you you tasting mm-hmm. mango. Like you actually in Germany, like what they do when they import the stuff, they mm-hmm. import it green for and it, it right. and they let it ripe, and that's why it not tasting good. Like they, cause if they import it ripe, it might spoil. So I right. understand why they doing it, but like it just you are tasting the same. Yeah, you having the same. a nice big mango, you cutting it open or you eating it however you want to eat it, 
and it's just not tasting the same. Like it the tastes, or even the coconut water. Yes. The coconut water, yuck! That disgusting oil. A friend of mine, she was drinking coconut water in a can, and then I tasted it. I almost spit it out because it was not the same coconut water. Like that was so. It was so artificial. As if like they just add sugar to it or they just yeah. add some type of thing to it to make it taste nice. She says she liked the taste of it, but I tell she her she has never tasted a good coconut. Yeah, I tell her like I tell her you have to taste the coconut in San Lucia because it, it's nothing compared to that. Cause like I uh uh-uh, uh I just I just cannot. I I don't know. It it's just sad to be honest. And like we have winter, so like nothing grows in winter. Yeah. So like you have to wait until like spring to harvest like stuff or like summer and whatnot. So that's that's like a problem. And like you'll have sun every time unless it rains, but like rain helping y'all exactly. and everything. So y'all y'all should be blessed, you know. Cause like in the winter, I have to go out with my minus twenty degrees Celsius with a big coat on me to go to school. Yeah, and before heavy rain fall, you're at your home, you're on to sleep. You see, you see the country, the country not shut down, but we, <laughs> people call it in work like we have work today. Yeah, we have school today. We have the, yeah. <laughs> I yes. like the struggle is real. Yeah, like y'all, y'all getting like when it when it raining heavy. You're going at your home from school. When it's raining heavy in Germany, you stick in that. Like, you just staying at the school. You staying at school. You have to, um, you, you stay in at school normally. And then you just, you just, you just have to be lucky if you bring an umbrella or a raincoat for you to go and take your bus. Because my school is, like, on a hill. And you have to walk, like, a good five minutes to go down the hill to go to the bus stop. So, like, if you don't bring an umbrella, you just stick in that because, yeah. And, like, we have... Now it's different in Germany. We have some field called. Um, now that has no, like mosquitoes. We don't have mosquitoes in Germany. Yeah? Oh, yeah. We we have we have like we have bugs that bite, mm-hmm. but only at night. At rind. <laughs> or like if you're in the forest and you camp in, that's the only uh-huh. place you will get like bugs that bite you, but not at home. We don't have ants. Like you can leave food on the counter table, and they have no ants coming in to take your food. Yo, it's an epidemic. Yeah. Ants. Like. Yesterday, I put something in the oven, and the thing just full of ants. Oh my god. Full of ants. You cannot leave anything out on the, on the counter, because ants will literally carry it away. Nothing. Well, we had an ant infestation at my house in Germany, but that was because my mother left the door open, and like, like our yard, like right in front uh-huh. of the balcony, so that's why they came, and there was like an ant hill. So that's why they came, but like, in general, you don't have ants like coming into your house at all. Yes. Like, you don't have... And there are no stray dogs in Germany. If they stray dogs, they are the pound or the the um like the animal care control place center. control center, whatever the name is. You have no stray dogs. You have no stray cats. Nothing. No dead animals on the road, except if they run them over. Mm-hmm. But then, like they clean it up like after a day or so, and then like you just have like. Like everywhere just clean, you have no litter, you don't see litter anywhere. And <laughs> it just Lucia, let me speak to you for a moment. You see that litter in thing, you only to stop it. Yeah. You see, um by tapping over there, it's so sad to see the amount of like trash that just there. hmm And I, I didn't I never see it so but well, it, it, it dread. Mm-hmm. Waters. Um, um, biscuits, wrappers, all kind of things, mm-hmm. diapers, all, all, stone fridge, name it there. Mm-hmm. And that's like so bad. And we live in a, such a tropical, Ni- like a nice, nice place, place where it like, should, like nature should be the, the showcase. Yeah. No, it's trash. Yeah, that's true. Trash. Cashews, I've been afraid to say cashews before when a drizzle fall because I know it's going to flood mm-hmm. and rats and things just going to float. Yeah. Now, that's not, that's not, um, you you portray my country because trust me every country has the their good and mm-hmm. bad. Yeah, but I mean true. like we really need to stop litter in Germany. We really mm-hmm. need to stop it. Like you see plastic bottles in Germany we recycle them. Like each most of the plastic bottles have like a recycling sign and now what they do is that if you buy like a case of like you say like let's say you buy a case of water which is like six bottles six, um as I was saying you have the recycling sign um, on the bottle, and mm. basically, when you're done with the bottles, you don't throw them away. You keep them in like a basket or or oh. wherever, 
and then you go to the store. At the store, there are these like machines where you can put the bottles inside them, and you get money back. So if you buy a bottle, each bottle has like a twenty-five cents tax or VAT or whatever on them, and when you return the bottles, you get your twenty-five cents back. So let's say you have like mm-hmm. an entire, an entire like sack or basket of bottles. It can be juice or water or whatever. Um, so you bring the bottles back and you can get like ten euro from all of these bottles. Mm. And with the with the receipt you get with the ten euro on it, and you buy groceries, you can pay your groceries with that ten euro receipt you get from bringing the bottles back into the machiney thing. Yeah. So that's 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 what we do. And even for like bare bottles. You get money for the bottles and for the crate if you return everything, and you get like a good free euro on that or like even more. So like if you have a lot, or like for example, like if you like had a party yeah. and you bring all of these drink bottles and everything back, you're making a good thirty euro day, and like you can just go shopping in that. So yeah, well, true. That's what we do. We we also do that in the the returning of like bare bottles, bottles, but it they have a. They have specific bottles that they want back. Mm-hmm. So even if, I think, which bottle do they take back? There's a there's a specific bottle I know that they don't take back. And what do you do with those? Like it just mm-hmm. they. My kind of recycles bottles. Anyway, that's so that's basically and like but the only things we don't recycle is um boxes like juice boxes mm-hmm. like the box itself. We put that in the paper garbage. We we separate our garbage in Germany. That's another thing. We separate our garbage into paper, plastic, and normal waste. So paper would be like paper, like newspapers. Mm-hmm. We still read newspapers too. No internet. Everybody have a newspaper in Germany. You waking up the newspaper there, but you have to pay for it. Mm-hmm. But like newspaper is still a thing in Germany, and like That's nice. yeah, newspaper is still a That's thing. Nice. So like. And like you know, it different in solution. Like you have a number on your house and the street and everything, so your your newspapers come automatically in your post box and whatnot. So yeah, um, so the newspapers and like cut uh, like cartons, yeah, ca- ca- cartons, 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 cartons. No, like boxes and stuff. Oh, yeah. You like cut up and like that's like paper paper um garbage, and then you have the plastic. Which is in a yellow, um, yellow bag, mm-hmm. uh, like all plastics, like plastics from wrapper, wrappers, like from your pads and whatnot. The plastic from the pads, the wrapper, mm-hmm. the pads in, and like all type, like plastic wrap, plastic bottles are not recycled. Like all of the plastics going in that, and then you have, um, oh, then you have the biodegradable one, where all the like eggshells and like even like tissue paper, mm-hmm. yeah, and like yeah, like eggshells and like. Like fruits, like the things from tomatoes, if you cut them out and whatever, like all type of biodegradable stuff, like fruits and whatnot, and food, they go in the biodegradable um, waste, and then you have like normal waste, which is like for like the bathroom, like you know toilet paper oh. or like your your Easter ladies essentials and whatnot, and like just normal like also like for dirt, like if you sweeping or whatnot, mm. like normal waste like that. So we have four, four. Um, yeah. In such definition of biodegradable, for those who do. 